Good morning, everybody. This is EcoSummit 2012, our third Smart Green Business Conference. The motto of uh, EcoSummit 2012 is Smart Green Innovation, because our target group is all about startup companies and corporates and venture capitalists. And I think we need new ideas, new technologies in order to create a new economy. We like to call it the smart green economy, which of course should be powered by 100% renewable energy. Turn around and rebuild and reinvent our energy system on a larger scale. Hello, I'm Anna from EcoSummer TV. Can you quickly tell us who you are and what you do? Okay, my name is Ralph S. I'm from Green Technology Staffing. We are a recruiting company only for green tech companies. Yeah, I'm Oliver from CarZap and um, we are a startup company in the peer-to-peer -peer car sharing area. And we offer a new innovative hardware solution that enables car owners to rent out their cars to other people. Yeah, I am Ahmed Yalcin. Uh, I am a clean tech investor actually. So we have a couple of investments here around Berlin in solar. We are an advanced thermal conversion waste uh, to energy and fuels company. We take residual non-recyclable uh, waste from um, municipalities or from uh, industry and commerce and uh, turn that into uh, a, a highly calorific, very clean synthesis gas. I'm Mar Alarcon. I'm the co-founder of Social Car. That is the first uh, P2P uh, car, sh car sharing operator in Spain. Well, I talked about uh, carbon change management. Um, how can we actually enable companies to implement uh, carbon management and uh, implement climate change protection? My name is Rene Savelsberg. I'm with uh, Chrysalix Set, a venture capital firm out of, based at Amsterdam. We uh, invest in the uh, early stage clean energy companies and we hope to uh, find some here. I am, this, uh, I am Teo Selcaño in the CTO of Onyx Solar. And Onyx Solar is a company devoted to building integrated photovoltaics for green building design. My name is Agnes von Matuschka. I'm a director of the Center of Entrepreneurship at TU Berlin, together with Professor Jan Kratzer, which is my colleague to chair the center. Yes, my name is Franka Birke. I work for Climate Kick as an um, entrepreneurship manager, and I'm responsible for supporting our startups in the field of clean tech, um, climate innovation, and energy efficiency and sustainability. We are Hansa Ventures, and Hansa Ventures is an incubator based out of Hamburg, and we are supporting young startups with their idea. We provide an ecosystem of designers, developers, uh, experienced entrepreneurs who help them to build their companies. My name is Verena Lücking and I'm an architect actually. Excellent, what, what's an architect looking for at Eco Summit and what do you bring to it? Uh, I, I did a second uh, study, so um, it was resource efficiency in architecture and planning, so uh, I'm generally uh, interested in sustainable development and uh, here are some startups that are quite interesting for me, also yeah, like inspiration or maybe cooperation and yeah, so this is why I'm here. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> I just want to explain why are we putting together the two words, smart and green, and why does it make sense? And if you disagree, I will be happy to discuss uh, during the day. <laughs> smart, of course, means uh, information, communication technology, the mobile internet, the ubiquitous internet, and basically the idea is to automate sustainability. Green, of course, is standing for clean tech and sustainability. But it would be nice if we can automate sustainability and embed it in everything and really use the power of computers to improve sustainability in products, in services, in everything that we are doing. Hi, it's Anna from EcoSummit TV. Could you quickly tell us who you are and what you do? Uh, my name is Carl Leo. I'm at the University of Dresden and simultaneously at Fraunhofer. And uh, what, what, what am I doing? Research, development, companies, creating value. What's your recipe for success? Well, uh, I'm not sure whether I have a recipe, but the basic idea is that, that we do advanced basic research on a high level, and then we check whether this can be used for products, and then we bridge the gap between the, the basic research and the product in industry. That's the main challenge. Can you tell us a bit about the role of science, of basic science, and then the, 
the step from science to the entrepreneur to the via the inventor to the entrepreneur, I guess. Well, uh, basic science is, in my opinion, always needed. It's kind of a human culture to do it. But uh, the, the step from basic science to application is a difficult one. The valley of death, as many people call it. And especially in Europe, we are not good in bridging it. We are very good in science, but we don't bridge it well. And that has to improve. And for instance, the meeting today is, is about improving that. So, um, Eco Summit, I hope you can feel it uh, during the next two days. It's like a smart green business network, and we are really here to, to do marketing together, to share ideas, to in invent the future, but also to promote what you already invented in your companies or your portfolio companies, especially the investors. Now I'm looking at Bart Marcus, <laughs> for example, of Wellington. We all know that. In the clean tech side, we are in major big markets, and these markets are growing rapidly. If you take an example of that, uh, first, why would you want to be in a big market like that? It is going to take money to go there, so you want to make sure that when you have deployed 50 million or 100 million in a company, you're in a market that's big enough that you can create a really big exit out of that. Secondly, um, uh, if, if you are in a big market and um, uh, uh, you can actually afford to make a couple of mistakes. So if you, in the end of the day, spend 50 million to get there and you make a couple of mistakes, you spend 60 or 70 million in there, if it becomes a 3 billion exit, it's okay. If you're looking at selling a company for 60 million, whether you then spend 20 or 30 million makes a big difference. So that's why you want to be in a very big market. I want to say a brief uh, thank you to all our sponsors. First of all, we have Climate Kick. It's a European initiative, a European-wide network of innovators um, sitting at universities and research institutes. And uh, tonight in the evening, we are going to have a panel where they go into detail when it comes to how do we start new companies in the very early phase and what kind of support do these um, new little startups need before the venture capitalists get the interest in, in order to invest. Climate Kick, tell us a little bit about maybe its history and its purpose. Mm -hmm. the, its main task is to combine innovation, education and entrepreneurship. And it's really a new path that the European Commission is going. It's not only funding research, but uh, the focus is on, on building entrepreneurs in the climate sector. It's a very challenging task for us because it's a new field and it's not well established and we try really to um, to work on the gaps that are still existing. We want not to reinvent the wheel, we want to, to look at gaps and, and fill them. Centrotherm Photovoltaics, it's a big uh, German supplier in the photovoltaics industry. That in turn means that the producers that have uh, the best quality available with uh, the, uh, the highest efficiency modules, they have a competitive ad advantage as opposed to the companies that don't have um, higher efficiency products in their product portfolio. That is also why we at Central Therm focus on efficiencies, have a very strong focus on our efficiency. And now an important moment is coming. Um, a new friend of us is coming on stage in order to celebrate um, that we did the uh, so-called carbon offset for EcoSummit 2012. Tristan Förster of our partner, Climate Partner. So this is a certificate that I'd like to award to Jan and to um, EcoSummit 2012. Um, this certificate proves that we have measured and offset the carbon footprint of EcoSummit. So this is the contribution of EcoSummit to a sustainable conference. And here's a smart green master plan. I just uh, go briefly through it because I just want to um, basically prepare your mind for the next two presentations. We have to think big, although everybody's working on their own uh, little company and their own uh, little product and the growth of the company. I think um, everybody together, all the people in the industry and the people who are not yet in the industry, some people um, think about changing their career like I did. I, I went green in 2010 because I wanted to out of complete um, convincement and motivation. So we need to transform our economy into a smart green economy and the cities have to become smart green cities and companies have to become smart green companies and in order to make the new ideas and the new tech 
technology is successful, we really need to drive it down the cost curve, which means we need to reduce uh, the cost of the technologies in order to make them available for the mass market. This is one of the key challenges for every startup. Very often, they are not yet price competitive when they are starting. And of course, the consumers have to change their lifestyle and start only buying green products, which are transparently sustainable. And one more thing before I end. What does it mean if we apply smart green innovation to our own product, to EcoSummit? I think the answer can only be a virtual EcoSummit. And uh, therefore, I want to announce today that we are partnering with a very nice company in my university town, Mannheim, and they are called UbiVent, and uh, Thomas Butter is one of the three founders. He's uh, today um, here at the conference. You can meet him. He has been helping at the registration. Check out his name tag. And UbiVent is a really cool platform for virtual events, and if we really want to go down in terms of carbon emissions, maybe we do an event where everybody's sitting in front of the computer. So you can expect from us within the next six months the first virtual eco-summit. So basically, and the idea is to um, watch online video, to be in a chat channel, to communicate. The speakers uh, can be in the channel too, and give answers to the questions of the participants, and we can share information in this environment. It can even be, and this is the beauty of the platform, not for free, but it can be a premium event. So it's even a secure content environment where only the people who have access to this virtual platform can see the content. It's not like YouTube where it is public and for free, but here you can really do premium events and charge a little bit for getting in. Once again, thank you very, very much for coming out and let the show begin. Thank you very much. <laughs>